During your treatment, you may experience some wires in your mouth that are sharp and poking. I'm going to guide you through some solutions to help make you more comfortable. So there's many different metal parts that are in the mouth. Some you may have and some everyone has. These are the metal wires. These are coils and these are metal ties. This is an example of a coil that's compressed between two braces. Because it's squished in between these two braces and it sits along the wire, it might rotate and the little tail end might be sticking out and that could be bothersome to the soft tissues. What you would need to do is take a clean pair of tweezers and you're going to adjust the coil and just rotate it so that that sharp projection is no longer sticking out towards the soft tissues and now it's sticking towards the tooth. So you just take your tweezers and just keep rotating the coil till you get that little tail inside. You can also take a clean pair of nail clippers and you can snip the end of the coil to smooth it over. Along your braces, you may either have an elastic tie or a metal tie. As you can see, this little piece here is sticking out. To make yourself more comfortable, take a pencil with an eraser end and gently tuck and push this little projection towards the tooth. as best as you can. And that already feels more comfortable. Again, you can always use your wax or gushy goo in an area if you still feel like you need a little bit of extra comfort. You may experience a long poking wire behind the very last brace in your mouth. If you find this is bothersome, you can definitely resort to the gushy goo and the dental wax and apply it to the area. If you find this is not helping you, you could always try this technique. And this involves a clean pair of nail clippers. So I'm going to demonstrate this here as an example with this wire sitting on top. Now, this technique can really only be done in the beginning stages of your treatment when you're in softer, lighter wires. As you go through your treatment, your wires tend to get thicker and this technique would definitely not work. So if you're in the beginning stages of your treatment and you find your wire is long and poking, you want to find a clear, comfortable spot closer to the front of the mouth. So not towards the back. We're not going to cut here. We're going to find a place in between two braces closer to the front of the mouth. And you're going to take your clean set of nail clippers and you're going to cut the wire. So you're actually slicing that through that wire and then you pull the wire right out, slide it out. Don't worry if you have a segmented wire. Once you come into your next appointment, we'll replace it and put in a new full wire for you.